baby. This is a start for us as consumers, as individuals on how we can help the planet. Whoa, yummy, huh? Hello, explorers, Kitted Explorer here, and today I am starting a new series on my channel. At least once a month, or hopefully once a month, I will come on here and talk to you about eco-friendly products. And today I'm going to focus it on dog-friendly products, because if you don't know, I have a golden retriever, and so he is going to be the model for this video. Now, I care about this because I do feel like I am a global citizen, and as a traveler, you should care about the people and the land that we travel on but we're not really caring about probably either in some cases, depending on the person. That's a whole other discussion. So with me caring about the planet, I wanna do things and learn new things to make sure I can do the best in my world to help. And that's how you can start as well as an individual, making sure you buy the right things to help the planet. You need to look at how the product is made to the point where it becomes waste in your world. So you want to not waste as much and you want to make sure you waste responsibly. So you want to make sure products are recyclable or biodegradable. And for each of these segments, I'm going to talk about the product that I already have, talk about the new product. I'm going to talk about if it's recyclable or biodegradable, and I'm going to compare it to each other to see if it is worth a replacement. And mind you, I have tried all of these replacements and I will let you know the cost. The cost will always pop up on the screen and I will also have a link to every single product down below, if possible, or where you can buy it down in the description box. And I'll also have a link to my website where I have set up a store page for you to go and see these products and keep updated on any future products that I may add to this category in the future. So now for real, let's get into today's video. So before we get into the eco-friendly dog products, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell right next to it so you'll be notified when all of my videos release. On my channel, I talk about all things travel, photography, and a little bit about the environment. My videos come out on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern time and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So I hope you subscribe, it's free, and I hope to see you in another video. Now let's get into it. So the first subject is cleaners for my dog's feet. So in the past I used, and I have a certain clip here, I actually use baby wipes, pamper baby wipes, because I do not like when my dog comes in the house with just using the restroom or walking down the street and walking on my floor. I don't wear shoes in my house, so he has to have his feet wiped off or paws wiped off every time he comes in the house. So I was using the Pampers baby wipes, the sensitive ones, because he is sensitive to everything and those work well. But if you did not know, baby wipes are not good for the environment. They're not biodegradable, they're not recyclable. You just throw them out and they can sit in a landfill for a very, very long time because of how it is made. So I needed to find a different way to clean his feet. So I actually found two different ways. First, which I will demonstrate this in a moment, this is the mud buster. If his feet or paws are extremely dirty, you fill this up with water and it has silicone pads in there. You just stick his foot in like this and you lightly twist it and scrub it, pull it out and the mud is removed. Now make sure you have a towel nearby because his feet are going to be wet. And I mean a towel, a towel that you can wash, not a paper towel or anything, to just make sure you dry it off a little bit. But this is great if your dog's feet gets really, really dirty and you don't need to give him a full bath or you don't have um, the tools to clean him at the time. So this is perfect. And the Mud Buster is very easy to clean. Once you finish, you can dump it into the sink or outside and rinse it out. And if it is very dirty, once you finish, you can put it in the dishwasher and it will not damage, but still rinse it out before you put it in the dishwasher. So the other thing that I have, because I said he has to wipe his feet regardless if it's dirty or not, because I don't wear shoes in my house, so he can't wear his dirt in here either, is I did find some biodegradable baby wipes. How excellent is that? And it actually was like climate approved on Amazon, so I don't know how much or how much that or what they do to do that on Amazon. So I'm gonna insert a clip of him using these biodegradable wipes 
and they are plant-based, plastic-free wipes. They work well for me. They actually feel the same as the Pamper Baby Wipes. Um, and I haven't had a problem with them since. And he doesn't have a problem with them. It feels the same for him. He's not breaking out from them or anything. So really enjoy these two replacements for my dog's feet cleaning process. So the next item on the list is how to pick up your dog's nasty poop waste, okay? So, and a lot of times if you live in an apartment or possibly a subdivision, they're gonna have bags at different stations for you to use. I have never used the bags at my station because they're not conveniently located from my home. So he may poop on the way to the poop station and then I will have to walk all the way to the station, get a bag and go back. So I buy my own bags. And I actually found some bags and I've been using these for a while. And these are earth rated poop bags, okay? And this is when I realized I reordered the wrong box of poop bags. They have two, one is compostable and one is not. So I will make sure I leave the correct link down below and I'll save the right bags to my favorites in my cart so this won't happen again. Now back to the video. So these bags are actually um, biodegradable bags. So when it goes into the trash, it will be perfectly fine. It will migrate back into the environment and the packaging is made out of recycled material. So I've definitely been using this for a while and I love these. Now, if you don't wanna deal with any bags, the best way possible is to buy just a pooper scooper. But in my world, or if you live in an apartment or something, you don't really have anywhere to put the pooper scooper. <laughs> So, and then they smell and that's nasty. So this would be the second best, but if you can get a poop scoop, that would be the better option. But just make sure you have somewhere where you can store the poop properly and not put it in a bag as well or a big trash bag or something like that. Just make sure you don't where to dispose of it because poop toxins are not good, okay? Now let's move on to the next product. So the next item is food. Now the food is huge <laughs> bag. I usually buy like a 30, 25, 30 pound bag because my dog is big and he goes through it quite fast. So I'm not gonna bring it over here. I will take you over in a moment to show you the new food. But my dog has been using Hill Science Diet food for a while. He has a sense, he's sensitive to everything. He has a sensitive stomach, so he had to get that food. It's quite expensive, but it's the only thing that works for him in his diet and where he doesn't get sick. So that cheap food, not even going to mention any brands, but the cheap dog food does not work for him. And I understand it's not made with good stuff, but Hill Science Diet, food is great, perfect food for my dog. But the problem is the packaging, and with most packaging on pet food, if it is bagged food, it is not recyclable and it's not biodegradable. So you're just throwing it to the trash can and it's just gonna sit in the landfill and not do anything for probably way, way, way longer than your lifetime. I'm not a scientist on how long stuff biodegrades if it does not, but I've researched it. It's not either one of those. So it's gonna sit there longer than your lifetime and probably generations after you because it doesn't biodegrade and you can't recycle it. Now I did look up Hill Science Diet. It is trying to produce a bag, I believe by 2035 or 2030, that is environmentally friendly. But I was like, I don't have time to wait for that. So I did end up finding this food called Karma that my dog has been testing out. And I'm gonna show you the bag. So this bag here is recyclable um, and the food is actually made from great ingredients. But one thing to know, obviously I'm not a veterinarian, but I have had a vet tell me this before. As you start to switch your dog's food, make sure you do it gradually. So make sure you combine a little of the new food with his old food and start to transition it over a longer time period. Do not switch it instantly. It could definitely cause them to have an upset stomach, especially my dog, okay? So don't do that. Now, one thing I have not discovered yet is like replacements for toys and treats. 
and how to properly dispose of them because a lot of treats come in bags that are not recyclable that I noticed and obviously he's eating the treats so I do have to find alternatives for that so if you know any let me know down in the comment section and as for toys you know toys can be made out of so many different materials so I could find a place if it's made out of fabric after he has demolished a toy to recycle that fabric um or if it's plastic and can be recycled I will do it that way if not I can always give it to another dog or I would unfortunately have to put it in a trash can and send it to the landfill, which could be bad. So just be mindful of the toys that you buy for your dog and how you can dispose of it in the future. All right, Explorers Global Citizens, that is all I have for the dog products that are eco-friendly for today. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure you leave them down below in the comment box. And if you have any ideas or suggestions of any of these products that you have found that are sustainable, leave that down below because I want to know as well. And stay tuned, next month we are going to talk about fossil fuels and replacements for that, which is definitely gonna be a harder discussion than dog products, okay? So again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And please share this video with your friends, family, and your social media network so they can start becoming sustainable as well and helping out the planet. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are. Bye. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the video recommended on the left or watch the playlist on the right. Thanks for watching.